Today, we are going to be racing the SL500 on a real street. Check this out. She's all in race mode. The faster you go, the more dangerous it is. The slower you go, the more time you lose. Hopefully, we have a lot of fun and we don't crash the car into a tree. Hi, welcome back to Rolling Stonks. My name is CJ and this is the finish line of the Corbell Hill Climb 2023. This year we will be using Nirvana because that's the only car that I have that works. That's sort of a race car. Now this road here, it's going to get blocked off by the police so that we can race on this road without any other traffic. Hopefully driving this up and down a couple times will give me a better idea as to where the curves are and how fast I'm gonna wanna take them. We're in Blue Lake, California. This here is the start line. Now this is the full We're climbing uphill the whole time and trying to go as fast as you can, which is a challenge because you have these really tight turns around these hills and you can't see what's around them. The faster you go, the more dangerous it is. The slower you go, the more time you lose. So it's a bit of a tricky scenario. This is not going to be an easy course. And if you go out of the course, you're in trouble. You're not just going to hit a cone. Woo! Hairpin corner here. Okay. Golly. I think it's I am super excited for this. This will be the first time I've ever been able to race any kind of car on any kind of real road. So kind of a dream come true. It's Friday, the day before the first day of the races, and we are here at Leon's Car Care in Eureka getting our tech inspections done. John's Honda Del Sol getting tech inspected as we speak. Oh, yeah. Check this out. She's all in race mode. We've got our number one here for first time noob. And we've got our fire extinguisher all strapped in here on this mount that Lauren was kind enough to let me use. Now, obviously the top will be up because I need to qualify as a hard top in order to not have a roll bar. So we're gonna put the top up, get the cover on this nice clean race car and she'll be all ready to go for tomorrow. Look at this. We got some race cars out here, folks. There's also apparently a fire going on up the hill, so we're having to move. We're waiting to hear back from the fire department, and hopefully they get the fire out and we're able to race. Woo, now that's a race car. This RX-7 has an LS in it. So crazy. You got your first sticker, look at you. Yeah. Don't even get the run the hill climb. <laughs> wow. Now that's purpose built for sure. Sheesh. That thing is sick. We got the Johnnies out today. John's Del Sol is all shined up looking good. We got Tim with his Z06 out here. A couple of the other Redwood Sports Car Club guys. Got Troy over here with the Miata. This is Lauren's GTI number 98 here. Andrew Harden in his gr green Honda. Well, it sounds like we've been cleared to race, so we're just gonna wait for people to show back up and we're gonna hit the hill. Recently, I picked up that Porsche and then sent it right back to the dealer. And I've been thinking about getting another race car and it's between something like this, the Z06, which this one is Tim's Z06, or something like this, which is Scott's Model 3 Performance. 
both of those cars, that Model 3 and that Z06, rip. They both are so fast. The drivers of those cars are the main reason they're so fast, but the cars also play a part. And they're so different. That car is fully electric, all-wheel drive, and this car is a rear-wheel drive V8. They're very different cars, and honestly, I'm not sure which one I want to get. If you guys have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. I'm on the first work crew, so we're going to hop in this truck here and head up the hill. All right, here we are at number seven checkpoint. Pretty soon, cars are going to be ripping up this road. John Jr. Yeah, getting ready to rip. Look at all these race cars. Heck yeah, and here is the start of the race. What is this thing? It's a Thunder Roadster. Oh, okay, I've heard of these. I've heard of these. What kind of motor does it have in it? 1250 Yamaha. Okay. Then they're all sealed up. They're all supposed to be the same. So. Gnarly. What does she rev to? 10 2. <laughs> ah, I can't wait to hear this thing sing the song of its people. It does, it does, it does, it does speak out a little bit. <laughs> Boy, you are. Wow, look at this seat. Holy moly. Full containment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got some brand new sticky A comp Hoosiers, man. That's the ticket right there. That's so it. it huh? glued. Last time he came, he had old 10 year old hard rock <laughs> Yeah, that'll make a difference. No better. All right. Looks like we're going. Here we go. Down to race. Well, we haven't even started the race yet. And look at this. I'm already getting an error message. It's pretty hot out here. And I just had the radiator replaced on this car, so I'm assuming there's enough coolant in it, but a little concerning nonetheless. Hopefully the car does not overheat during the drive. Looks like it's doing okay though. That's about where it normally sits, so I think we're fine. Second in line at this point. I'm right behind this Corvette. I play shows where I front bands with hundreds of people in the audience and I don't have as big of butterflies for those as I do for this. This is gnarly. All right, this is the first time I've ever worn this. Better put on this helmet, so hopefully it works. Ooh, that thing sounds good. <laughs> Spitting up stuff as it goes. All right, we're gonna put this in sport mode. When we get the green flag, we get to race on a real road. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is fun. Oh yeah, this is fun. Woo! 
road. Got a sharp corner coming up here. Get to use all the That was a little close. I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah, I get a little upset around this turn. guys wow oh okay well that was the first time I've ever done that and it was awesome got a little squirrely at a couple points because I really don't know this track at all but overall that felt pretty good I'm excited for this next run <laughs> yeah buddy Getting back in line for a second run. That's a green flag. coming in a little too fast on the finish line which to be honest I don't actually know what the finish line is we did all right we didn't crash and we went fast that's the goal so all right lined up ready to go back down the hill gosh these cars look good and this is the finish line that I guess I was going a little too fast through <laughs> not a lot that beats driving a race car through the redwoods in Humboldt County I'll tell you what <laughs> got some spectators on the side Corvette Z06 oh a cop that's good not a lot that looks better than the butt end of a Z06 on a race course back at the start for our third run heck yeah look at all them race cars coming up the hill Nice. This is what you like to see. That thing sounds good, buddy. Okay, a new development. The check engine light is on. That's not good. All right, we just turned off the car. Let's turn it back on. Oh boy, the check engine light is still on. Shoot, it came on when I was coming downhill, weird enough, and I 
really don't know if I should keep racing with the check engine light on. This is the last run of the day and my check engine light is on. Well, we're checking the engine and I mean, it's still there. So I guess we'll just keep on racing. Oh, it almost went off the course. <laughs> Boy, this is just madness going this fast on this road. Don't crash and have a good time. I'll see you guys out on the track.